all right y'all literally just had a dope ass workout so make sure y'all check the reels and the shorts whatever i posted on y'all know be giving me all clips so okay i wanted to talk to you guys but before i do that i want to show you i want to show you guys my protein drink so i pack it every day because i want to consume my protein like right after my workout so i always make sure i have like a lunch box here and i put some ice packs in it you know keep it simple so i can keep you know my almond milk nice and cold and this is my protein powder i will put down in the description the name of it i can't remember it offhand but it is a pea protein y'all know i'm vegan and it it does have all seven amino acids so it is a complete protein okay and what i love about it is the only ingredient in the protein powder is pea protein like it's not a long list of shit that you don't know what the fuck it is no pea protein that's it and i put one cup of almond milk in here and like one tablespoon of maple syrup just to kind of sweeten it up a little bit you know what i'm saying and of course i'm making a mess <laughs> all over my lap Ciao. okay let me shake this up real quick and drink this get my protein in people always think like if you're a vegan you can't gain muscle or some stupid shit they done came up with that is far from the truth because listen every time i step foot in that gym i have nothing but gains like i'm gaining so much i'm getting so strong i've really like just focused in on my nutrition and you know making sure i eat clean more times than not like of course i'm not perfect no one's perfect like of course you're going to make mistakes or you're gonna you know eat something that you shouldn't eat like whatever like no one's perfect but at the end of the day as long as you are more consistent than inconsistent you're gonna see results so if you're consistent you know four days out the week and three days you slip up you're still gonna see results now if you can fine tune that <laughs> and maybe go to like you know one day messing up my phone's ringing i don't know who that is um one day messing up versus six days you know doing right obviously your results are going to be better but like just do i don't want you guys to get down on yourself like i want you to have grace you know what i mean because at the end of the day no one's perfect like i said and this is a marathon it is not a sprint okay and remember remember it took months if not years to get fat at least for me it did i didn't gain all my weight in two months okay it was years and years and years of eating like shit that got me to 340 pounds okay it didn't just happen overnight it didn't just happen with one meal from chick-fil-a this took years of me not caring about myself not putting myself first you know being depressed it took years of that that got me to 340 okay so just understand that it's gonna take years to get to what i want to get to my goal now is to lose these last 20 25 pounds of fat and tone i want a more muscular athletic physique I'm a little flabby in certain areas, especially like my inner thighs. So I really want to fix that. And I have a lot of confidence that it's gonna fix itself if I continue, sorry, my camera keeps shaking. If I continue to do what I'm doing, I didn't have weight loss surgery, so I didn't lose the weight super, super, super fast. I averaged about two pounds a week over the course of a year and a half now. Are we in a year and a half? Something like that. So I lost the weight at a very, slow rate you know what i'm saying so my skin has time to adjust i didn't lose it super fast and now i have all of the saggy skin honestly when i i would say about 60 pounds in i was way more flabbier than i am now and i was getting nervous because i was like okay i'm super flabby am i gonna need like skin removal surgery like my arms like they still jiggle a little bit but not nearly like what they was doing 60 pounds 
of loss. You get what I'm saying? Hold on, I gotta drink this. One second, one second. Okay, anyways, so the point I'm making is you have to trust the process, okay? Trust the process. Just, 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 let's just focus on losing the weight. Let's not focus on what's out of our control, okay? Just show up every day show up ready to work even on the days that you're off your rest days everyone needs rest days still show up not necessarily to the gym but show up to eating right show up to going to a yoga session getting some good stretches in especially if you're lifting heavy weights like you still gotta make sure you take care of your body show up and ice your joints if you have bad knees if you have bad ankles or a bad shoulder whatever it is like take care of your body in other ways on your rest days okay so that's what i mean by show up just just really fine tune what you're doing wrong so that you can get the results that you want to get and stop comparing yourself to other people and i'm guilty of it too like i have like so many people in my phone of who i want to look like but at the end of the day i can only look like myself i can't look like somebody that's not me you get what i'm saying and i i don't want you guys to look at other influencers and be like oh i want to look like them i want to look like them you want to look like you you want to look like you now there are things that you can do to give yourself like a curvier physique like maybe you don't have the curves in the spots that you want to have them you can always big your back like there's this thing going around like oh let's unbig our backs and i understand that whole movement like you know lose weight but if you want a more of an hourglass shape and let's say you weren't born with one do more back days build your back get more muscular in your back because now that's going to give the illusion that your waist is a lot smaller because your back is wider and ladies like stop thinking you're gonna look like a man it's impossible for you to look like a man like we don't have enough testosterone to look like a man like i don't know what some of y'all be thinking like you cannot look like a man it's impossible it's freaking impossible okay muscle is sexy there's nothing wrong with being toned. That's sexy. It's very sexy. It's very attractive. Men love that shit. So stop thinking like, oh, I don't want to look like a man or I don't want to lift heavy weights because I don't want to look like a man. Like, girl, stop. Chill. Please stop. 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 That's going to look better than being 100 pounds overweight. For me, at least, I look way better now. Then I looked 115 pounds ago, okay? So, like, do you wanna be big or do you wanna be small? Like, let's just, if you took up, if you took a before and after picture of yourself, I bet you everybody gonna say you look better, smaller. Everybody. Because you look healthier. You look like you take care of yourself. You look like you care. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of mental strength to lose weight, to go to the gym regularly consistently that's a lot of mental strength to be able to do that to go when you don't feel like it to eat clean when you're craving cookies and ice cream and cupcakes do you know how much mental strength that takes that shows that you're strong it shows that you're disciplined that's sexy as fuck it shows that you have self-control you know how you out here don't have self-control i know i didn't have self-control shit I would say I'm on a diet and two hours later I'm at Chick-fil-A getting the chicken sandwich large size with large Sprite light ice and macaroni and cheese and a milkshake but two hours ago I said I was on a diet self-control I had none that's how I got to the size I was at so that's what I'm saying like y'all some of y'all I feel like be worried about the wrong things like seriously worried about the wrong things and i'm not pointing fingers that's why i constantly say like what i used to do or how i used to be so y'all don't think that i think like i'm better than you because i'm not better than you i'm just trying to show you that you don't have to live like that especially because i was so depressed and that's a crazy thing i didn't feel like i was depressed at the time like i was very i was confident big i show i portrayed myself to be confident as a big woman because i had to do only fans i had to make money but I only wanted to make content or take pictures in certain angles. I did not like my stomach. I didn't like my body. I was constantly comparing myself to other people. I didn't want to make content because I just didn't like how I looked. So I had this image like I was confident in myself, but I wasn't. 
because of the weight. And honestly, there was a part of me that was like in denial about how big I was. <laughs> like, it's so crazy because in my head, I thought I was the size I am today, <laughs> like in my head. But clearly I wasn't like when I look at before and after pictures I'm just like wow like I can't even believe I was that big like it's just it's it's so it's so crazy it's fucking crazy but at the end of the day like I just really want you guys to love yourself I really want you to love yourself. I really want you to put yourself first. And I know for me in my journey, if I'm like reflecting back, I didn't love myself. Like I was drinking heavily. I was smoking weed regularly. I was eating whatever. Those were actions of not loving myself. Because if I had truly loved myself, I would take care of my body because I only get one. And the way I was living, like I was decreasing my lifespan. So, you know, I'm all with the BBW movement and loving yourself. You should love yourself no matter what size you are, period, point blank. You should love and respect yourself no matter what size you are. And you shouldn't tolerate bullshit from anybody, regardless of how big or how small you are. Like that's period, point blank. But a lot of times we don't because we have low self-esteem, especially when you treat yourself the way you treat yourself when you're bigger. When you don't keep the promises that you make to yourself, that tends to decrease your self-confidence, your self-worth. So then that trails into you allowing people to treat you any type of way. Men, girlfriends, family, like it, it all trickles down. It really does. At least for me, it did. And I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to speak on everybody and what everyone has going on. But I know for me in my life, when I reflect on the type of people that I was dealing with, with friends, like I let people walk all over me. I was the yes, I was the yes man, the yes woman. Like I would say yes to anything even if it didn't benefit me, even if it was going to get in the way of what I had going on. I was a people pleaser. I let people disrespect me. I let people walk all over me. But now I don't. Like, I have no problem saying no. Like, if I don't want to, I'm not going to do it. No. And I don't have to explain myself. I'm not going to feel bad about it. The answer is no. And that's just what it is. But I've grown so much during my weight loss journey. You know what I mean? So I just want y'all to realize, like, it all trickles down. It really does. It, it just builds your self-esteem, builds your discipline, your confidence. Like, this is just an amazing journey for me. And that's why, like, I love sharing it with you guys. I love taking y'all with me on my journey because this shit is fucking crazy. Like, it's so unreal. Like, if, if someone was to tell me a year and a half ago that I would be the person that I am today, I'd be like, shut the fuck up. Like, I wouldn't believe it. I really wouldn't believe it. Like... I wouldn't believe the shit. Now it's like, I have to go to the gym. Even when, like, y'all know I'm a morning person. I like to go in the morning. Like, it's fucking 5.30 and I'm just leaving the gym. But I had things to do this morning. I was like, bro, I'm not going to miss my workout. Like, period. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to the motherfucking gym. And I went to the gym. So... Either way, I had a great, great workout. Definitely worked the shoulders, did the core. Um, I feel good. I feel amazing. Like, it's just, it's just great. Like, the endorphins that are released after you go to the gym, it's just amazing. I have, I packed me an apple, a little snack. I'm going to eat this on the drive back home. And then I'm probably going to eat my chickpea salad sandwich. I posted pictures on, of it on Insta and Facebook. So I mean, maybe I should like make a, maybe I should like show y'all how I make it one day. It's so good. Oh my God. It's so good. Oh. But anyways, that's all I have for y'all today. Make sure you guys follow me and subscribe to all of my platforms, TikTok, Insta, Facebook, YouTube. Everything's going to be down in the description. Feel free to ask questions, comment, anything that you want to know. Like, if you're struggling with anything, hit me up. I want to help you. Like, I, it's just such an empowering feeling. Like, it really is. Like, just to see people in their, their fitness journey, their weight loss journey, especially for people who were big before. Like, it, it just does something for me. Like, it's just so exciting. Like, to see people that went from extremely overweight to now at a healthy weight. 
and just to see the transformation like it's everything so if you're struggling or whatever like hit me up comment i respond to every comment so leave a comment i will get to you all right remember to be great remember to love yourself remember to push yourself first remember you are worth it you are worthy you are important you are loved all right i'll see y'all next time bye